It'll be wrong to suggest that engineering has caused more disasters than the benefits we've reaped from it. No doubt, modern engineering has simplified our lives from the invention of the wheel to the complex working aircraft. However, there have been plenty of engineering mistakes that have led us to become more cautious and extremely risk-averse. The engineering mistakes have had a huge consequence on many industries, which should never be repeated. But before we list these top 10 worst engineering mistakes, please like this video and subscribe to your favorite channel, Top Best for Everything. Number 10. The Skylab Disaster The Skylab Disaster is remembered by the severity of damage it caused during its launch. The rocket was weighed at 75 metric tons during its launch on May 14, 1973. Its weight is important, as after it failed to launch, it all became debris. Debris that was hurled from the sky and was unaccounted for in all simulations. What happened was that at launch, the Skylab lost its primary solar panels and the micrometeoroid shield. This stopped its deployment and cost $3.6 billion to the orbit station. Number 9. The Apollo 1 Disaster in 1967 Another mistake which could have been avoided had the crew not neglected the possible signs of an impending catastrophe. Apollo 1 met disaster on a pre-flight test in 1967 and took the lives of three astronauts when fire broke out in the midst. NASA had to halt the program entirely for several years to get to the bottom of the problem and come up with fire-retarding solutions. The command module of the craft was busted when the fire was brewing and became useless. Had the astronauts been vigilant towards the warning signs for an instant, took notice of the strange smell, the disaster might have been avoided. Number 8. The Vasa Disaster Sometimes arrogance or desperation makes people blind to faults that could have been fixed if proper inspection was done. This is what happened with the Vasa. The ship was a golden ticket for Sweden to impress the whole world in 1626. The ship had a length of 226 feet and it was supposed to carry 64 cannons that could fire at least 650 pounds of ammunition just from one side. Despite the bold statement that was tagged along with the launch of the ship, Vasa sank only a nautical mile away from the Stockholm Harbor port in 1628. The ship couldn't face the heavy winds. Number 7. The Bhopal Disaster Bhopal tragedy is still remembered over the fact that it caused way more casualties than estimated. Even after 34 years since the disaster struck, the area is still toxic enough to not support any kind of human or animal habitat. In 1984, the pesticide plant of Union Carbide in India released a toxic gas, which immediately took the lives of 2,259 people, and then a further 11,000 deaths were attributed to this catastrophe. Upon investigation, it was found that 42 tons of methyl isocyanate got contaminated with the water supply, which subsequently caused an exothermic reaction. The tragedy caused 558,125 injuries, disabling 3,900 people. Number 6. The Bankiao Dam Failure in China The Bankiao Dam in China came as a shock and had deadly consequences. In 1975, this dam was built and was named Iron Dam, proposing its unbreakable engineering wonder. And when it failed, it would go on to claim the lives of 230,000 people, while 11 million people were forced to relocate after the calamity. It also resulted in a staggering loss of $1.6 billion to the Chinese economy. The reasons affiliated to this tragedy were many, such as a poor design, maintenance issues, unsafe construction, excessive construction of dams in the region, and Typhoon Nina. Number 5. Columbia Space Shuttle Disaster In February 2003, seven astronauts were killed in the disaster of Space Shuttle Columbia. The shuttle disintegrated when it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. On investigation, it was found out that evidently a small piece of foam insulation damaged the protective tiles that were responsible for protecting the shuttle upon re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. How the piece of foam got in is still not known, but due to the damage, the tiles failed and caused a rapid chain of events that led to the shuttle's disintegration. Number 4. The Walkway Collapse in the Hyatt Regency Hotel In 1981, the walkways of the Hyatt Regency Hotel collapsed and claimed the lives of 114 people. It was considered one of the deadliest events in American history. On investigation, the inquirer stumbled upon gravely serious flaws in the designs of both the walkways. To maintain justice so such flaws can never be overlooked in the future, the engineers who initially worked on designing the walkways and approving them were convicted of misconduct and gross negligence they eventually lost their engineering license. Number 3. The Disaster of the St. Francis Dam The St. Francis Dam was built originally to fulfill the increasing demands of the population in Los Angeles in the mid-1920s. To build the dam, an American-Irish civil engineer was put in charge of the project. William Mulholland designed and built the dam alongside the LA Aqueduct. After two years of the dam being built, there were cracks in the signs of leakage, which Mulholland oversaw. 
and a couple of hours after his routine inspection, the dam burst and killed over 450 people. Number 2. The Collapse of the Charles de Gaulle Airport Charles de Gaulle Airport was inaugurated in May 2004, and soon after its opening, a portion of Terminal 2E collapsed. This incident took the lives of four people on the spot and three people sustained heavy injuries. Upon investigation, nothing was revealed. Evidently, experts could not establish any fault that could have caused the collapse. Although after the inquiry team went through a thorough check, it was maintained that the roof was not strong enough to hold heavy metal pillars. The reconstructed cost for the terminal amounted to $120 million, and the airport reopened in 2008. Number 1. The Collapse of the Quebec Bridge – A Mistake Made Twice As insane as it sounds, it's even more insane to accept that it's true. The Quebec Bridge has collapsed twice first in 1907 and the second time in 1916. This disaster took the lives of 89 workers. It was the largest cantilever bridge in Canada and around the world. When the bridge collapsed in 1907, some workers were working on the cantilever arm and almost 55 people were reported dead, either because of the falling debris or due to drowning. The fault was design, concept, and construction, and sadly, the same mistake was made within a decade. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop us a like, as well as subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future.